Hi, this is Ricky Zinn with In Living Focus, the fine art of conservation. I am in the Tetons, as you can see behind me. What a gorgeous, gorgeous landscape this is. And I've been filming all kinds of wildlife. Pretty awesome. Check out that behind me. Is that not beautiful? So let's go. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to let the bison out of the bag. There's absolutely no way that I can cover all the photography and videos in this one particular video. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a series of videos featuring the wildlife and the landscape of the Grand Teton National Park and also Yellowstone National Park. You know what I love about being out in the wild is you always get a surprise, whether it's a colorful rainbow, a flower, or in this case, a prancing deer. Please make sure that you like and subscribe and ring that bell because that bell there on the right, that will actually inform you when I post the next video. And I really want to see you then. All right, here's a little quizzical for all you little or you big kids out there. Who knows the North American Indian name for the bison? If you know it, write it down in the comments below. I use the Nikon D850 and the Nikkor 200 to 500 millimeter lens. If you like these photos and videos, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to give you some tutorials on how to use your camera and or how to edit some film and or photography. As you can see, the bison cow is a very loving and attentive mother. And in tribute to all mothers out there, here's a little song from one of my shows. near each time you call Now the only heart I own for you and you alone That's all That's all Do you know the difference between a bison and a buffalo? Well, these are bison. They come from North America and Europe. The buffalo comes from Africa and Asia. Plus, the bison has a beard and the buffalo doesn't. Now look at these cuties. Where do you think they got the idea to butt heads? Before we get to the bare necessities of this video, I wanted to share this beautiful duck. This is a golden eye. Does anyone know the species of golden eye that this duck is? If you do, write it down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss my up and coming video of this particular male golden eye and his female partner and their beautiful romance.
Now that is a black bear. Wait a minute, black? Did you know that black bears can often be brown, blonde, or even kind of a gray blue? Black bears are the smallest of the three species of bear found in North America, the polar bear and the grizzly bear. <laughs> This beautiful sow bear is not alone. She's got two gorgeous little baby bear cubs. What do we call a baby bear before its first birthday? A baby bear before its first birthday is called a koi. But don't you just love wildlife photography? You're focused on this bear and then a little pine marten pops up out of nowhere. Oh, here we go. I've been using Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, and this little bird insists on tweeting. This little bird just tweeted to me that there is a female sow black bear and her three cubs right there. Bear cubs, or in this case, koi, are very good climbers. They have very, very sharp claws, and those branches up there, they actually conceal and protect them from predators. Right, hands down, this is my favorite photo. What do you think? Write that down in the comments. Wow, that was absolutely so much fun and so exciting to be out in the Grand Teton National Park, also Yellowstone National Park. Extremely beautiful places to be. The landscape, the wildlife, the weather, it was just so awesome. I encourage you, when you go out there, bring your bear spray. Bear spray is not only beneficial for you, it's beneficial for the bears. You wanna make sure that you always stay 100 yards or more, I recommend a little more, and bring a nice long lens. I brought my uh, 200 to 500 millimeter Nikon lens along with my D850. Took some awesome slow-mo video, some 4K video, and also the photography. I wanna encourage you to please like, subscribe, and comment below. You know when you comment, I get to get an idea of what you're looking for and what you're interested in, what your passions are. So this is just as much about you as it is me or about wildlife conservation. So I encourage you to definitely get involved. I'm gonna be uh, featuring a lot more of these type of videos. I've got some grizzly bears with cubs. I've got a two cow moose with calves. I got one that has twins. Pretty awesome. Of course, that golden eye is gonna pop up and he's on a date in the video, so it's gonna be really cool. Look forward to seeing you again, so make sure like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you soon.